Good morning, guys. Welcome to Noisy Town. This is what morning sounds like on the day by day farm. When you finally get here to let the animals out, yeah, they're very excited. For as much as we try to be organized for Sam's surgery, I'm noticing like I need to do a big shop. We got a lot of really nice messages from you guys wishing Sam well. And let me tell you guys how his first night home went. I think you'll be shocked. <laughs> to be honest, I learned a lot about my husband. We have been together for, <laughs> God, not this again. Uh, 24 years. We've been together for 24 years. Actually, almost 25 years. Actually, 25 years. <gasps> Sam, we missed our anniversary. <laughs> our anniversary of meeting. We met 25 years ago at the beginning of this month. Wow. Does that mean we get presents? <laughs> Should we be giving each other presents? We met 25 years ago at the beginning of November, actually in the middle of November, so we haven't really missed it yet. Next week, maybe. You remember? Me and Gabby at home with pizza. We went out for our anniversary and left you home with pizza? Don't you think that was kind? Yeah, me too. So anyways, We've been together almost 25 years and never before have I realized that Sam is hyper. I honestly didn't know. I had no idea that he was hyper. I'm hyper. As long as, I've, as long as I can remember, I've always had excess energy, which has always been amazing. It's funny because people who are hyper, people judge them and say, oh, she's so hyper or he's so hyper. But when you're actually hyper, it's the best feeling, you guys. Energy enough to get everything done that you need to get done for the day. Having energy is so much better than not having energy because I've had times where I've not had energy. And let me tell you, hyper is fun and amazing and awesome. But not as much when you have a husband that needs post-op care and he's hyper. Because I was so hyper most of my life, I didn't realize Sam was hyper. All I knew is that he could keep up with me. And most people could never keep up with me when I was younger. And it was a match made in heaven. It was a match made in heaven. Sophie, you're hyper too. Eh. And Gabby was hyper when she was young, and I think she still is hyper, just in a different way. He was a nightmare last night. He was annoying, but I was never annoyed because I'm just so happy to have him home. And because I'm hyper, I appreciate his hyperness. He was up and down all night in that chair. He came home like nothing has changed. He built the fire all night. He was get collecting wood. He was putting wood in the fire. He stayed in the house, thankfully. Finally, I went to bed and he said he was gonna sleep in the chair because it was the only comfortable place. And I was like, okay, I get it, no problem. At midnight, I hear clunk, 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 and he's walking up the stairs, which is fine. He's supposed to do stairs, not alone and not carrying his walker. He's supposed to use two hands <laughs> and hold onto the sides of the, the railings. But anyway, he didn't do that. So he finally gets settled in bed, everything's good, I'm about to go back to sleep, and then I hear clunk, 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 and he's going back down the stairs. Not hear any of that? Yeah, well, it gets worse. So I checked on him again about 2 a.m., and he was sound asleep in his chair. He woke up when I went down there, but he was at least laying flat and trying to sleep. I woke up this morning, and I could hear him getting mad at Ruby, and I could hear him doing something. So I went downstairs as fast as I could. Any second now, you should see a head. Oh, she's over there now. Ellie keeps popping her head up there. What? She wants to be in here. You're mean. Yeah, you have to wait and let her eat her food. You she's can't just. She's a slow just, eater, just like Gabby. She's a slow eater, just like Gabby. You can't just <laughs> take all her food. You have to be Don't a nice. Me. Be a nice friend. So I come downstairs and he's in the kitchen and he's sweeping up and bending over and sweeping up garbage. Apparently Ruby, who rarely ever gets in the garbage, gets in the garbage and he's cleaning it up. The man has never cleaned up garbage in his life. Oh, Ellie just... <laughs> so I'm like, what are you doing? You can't do that. Like, go sit down and I'll clean it up. I'm like, finally he goes and sits down. Like, honestly, the one time he decides to pick up garbage is the time that I don't want him to pick up garbage. And don't get me wrong, he does a lot of stuff. He's a good guy. He does a lot of work, but we have different things that we do. All of us have different jobs around our house, and he does not pick up, if the dogs get in the garbage, he doesn't pick it up. In fact, I don't know if he's ever swept the floor before in his life. If he's doing that, he could be doing horses. I don't want him to do horses. It will not shock me if I come out tomorrow, wake up tomorrow morning and he's out in the barn. What are you doing? Yeah, like, don't do it. Don't do it. Grab her. She's like, I can fit though. 
So you see Ellie, Ellie is Sam. That's what I'm dealing with in the whole Sam department right now. Yosh. Or my baby. She likes to chew my necklace. He's been uh, not too bad. He hasn't been liking the ice on his legs. He has to have the ice because his legs, his leg is really swollen. So today I made him okay, put the Ola ice on his leg. Is so small. I know she is. Oh. She is so tiny. Look, she's just barely bigger than Ellie. <laughs> People think Ellie is so huge because they see her on camera. She's she's small dog. She's a regular Yorkie size. What? Oh my you goodness! Think? Are you jealous? So anyways, Sophie and I are out doing chores. It is the weekend. I'm excited. I had so much good sleep last night having Sam home. Friday. I know, it's Friday. It's the weekend. Don't pull him by the horns. Well, I have Is his collar okay? Yes, but if you pull on his collar, it chokes him. I know, just hold him by his collar. They're both- the Anyway, our baby is doing great down in the barn. She's doing fabulous, and our little Rocky- Ellie, just wait. I don't need- The dog never wants me to hold her until we're in the barn, and then she's like, please, hold me. Look, she's licking my ring again. I wonder if it's metal. She, I, I mean, I like the taste of metal. Ew, what is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. We are doing chores. I had so much sleep. I'm so happy to have Sam home. Hi. I hardly slept while he was away, so I slept so good last night. Is she going to take any of that bottle? Probably not. She's a spoiled brat now. No, let her have it after she's done her grain. She needs it. See, he's the nicest one. He boy. is the nicest one. He's asking Sophie. Look at that. He just, Sophie let go of him, and he was asking her, like, can I go over to where the baby is and try the grain? And then he didn't try and kill her to get to the grain. Any of our other goats would, with food involved, even our horses, would have tried to kill her to get okay, her food. Okay, not honey. Honey would have ran after her like, let's play! Yeah, Honey and Ellie. All right, it is bottle time. She knows she gets grain in the morning, so she won't drink her bottle now until after she has her grain. At night, too. At night, too? Yeah, she knows what she wants. She's like, I want some of that. <laughs> oh, if we get a go this color, which we probably won't from Mocha. I think we do get I'm it. naming oh. it Milk Dud. That's a weird name. It's a cute name. So um, I dreamed, like I told you guys, that I saw Tilly standing with three babies and one was really dark like this, dark with white patches, just like him. She has white patches, so she's covered by the... the He's afraid of Ellie. Everyone is. <laughs> Everyone's scared of Ellie. Actually, the mama goats <coughs> stare her down and chase her. Your poor boy. You finally got put back with your So we picked the right one. So the only reason we wanted to have uh, uh, weather, like we didn't want a weather, but then once we got a weather, we ended up deciding that we wanted to keep him. And the reason we wanted to keep him was we wanted him to be like babysitter or to keep our buck company or to keep any baby's company. Definitely not because he's cute. And because he's so cute. And anyway, he's he's proving to be the best little weather, and he's like our only real working goat. He works. He takes. He's the babysitter. He takes care of everybody. Look at your cute little fat face. Mm -hmm. I want to give you a bath and blow dry you. <laughs> you'll be poofy. That's random. This is still her little bed. She still likes it. This is where she sleeps at night. We have a little heating pad in there. Jesse was born on a winter's night in the middle. The storm, the road was blocked, so Jesse was born in this old house. Raised on love in those sunny years when there was magic in the world. Her laughter traveled well across those hardwood floors. God knows we didn't have much. looks a little thinner today that we took off their blankets but it's because their hair is flattened it's actually like a sunny warm day out like a summer day Sam bought all new clips for this door yeah I don't know how to do it I heard banging outside this door and I was like oh Sam better not be out there better not be out there what is that they broke it did you do I didn't. I just walked out here. Oh, they broke it. Oh my god. Dad, goodness. I know you're crippled right now, but you got help. <laughs> okay.
Okay, if I remember correctly. <laughs> so even you don't know how to do it. Yeah, you remembered correctly. Woo! You can go out there, Pan. Go ahead, sweet baby. So that's the camera Sam was watching us in when he was at the hospital when he needed us to come pick him up and he just talked through. Came in and I could hear him talking. I couldn't figure out where he was coming from. Hi, do you need something? No, I'm good. Are you sitting? Penny broke your lock thing. Don't, don't tell him. He'll come out here and try and fix it. Penny Nothing. broke your lock. Worn out truck and a lot of hope she left one Thursday morn. Like the storm she came with never let her go. All right, so how's it going? Have you been behaving? Yeah, I've been doing. Do you have ice on your knee? Yeah, it's on my knee. Is it not cold anymore? It's not cold. Yeah, I can tell because you're not complaining. I'll, I'll <laughs> fix it for you. It's a magical day on the Day by Day Farm. What did you get in the mail, Sophie? Um, what does it say? It's from the fair. The fair, the Norwood fair. She got an envelope from the Norwood. Let's see how much she actually won because we think she won $120 or something. Let's see how much she actually won. Everybody's here. They're all like, let's see, what did she get? This is the first time we ever saw this before. <laughs> Tell us how much you made. I don't know how to read these. What's I've the never check, the check Read the check. All right, we'll do work on checks to, to, yeah. on. Yep, she made $120. 120. Cool. So she made Junior Showmanship, $30. Open Halter Championship, $5. Junior Ec English Equitation, $20. Junior English Pleasure, $25. Junior Western Pleasure, $20. Junior Western Horsemanship, $20. $120, let's save that and put it in our file for you, because that's so, like... So, Junior Showmanship... So you have to put that check in the, in the bank. We're going today. We're going today. We're having a problem with the Silky. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, they swapped. They swapped eggs. Yeah. All right, so we're having a problem. Do they have water still? So the problem is, is that the silky... See, look, well, there's one. ...is cracking the eggs. Actually, I don't think she's cracking them. Well, maybe she's cracking them. But if you, if there's like a non-fertile egg... Well, the one over there, it stunk, by the way, because the baby was drowning in it. And there was black feathers. Like, like, like was there a body? Well, there was a black dot. So then it was under her. If there was black feathers on it. Was that one. All right, well. But last night they were all fine. All right, so two eggs have been eaten. <laughs> so we're worried that one of the chickens is eating the eggs, but do you think it's this one? Yeah. Why? She's the only one that's had broken eggs on her. So. Could be her. Smell their beaks. Smell their beaks. Okay, go for it, Sophie. Mm -hmm. This is what you do if you want to know if your chicken's been <laughs> e eating eggs. I smell like a chicken. <laughs> what about you? You're... Oh, what do you do? <gasps> She's laying an egg. How do? You... Oh yeah. So we know it's her now that goes in there to lay eggs. Are you gonna check this one? Sure. Breath. She's, she's, she's a meanie though. She yells at me. All right. Well, so. If an egg isn't viable, it, they will explode. So I, I don't know if we can say for sure. Look how cute she is. Yeah, she's really Look at her cute. hairless belly. Yeah. She's, she's feel it. It's steaming. Yeah, she they pull out feathers. Oh, yeah, she's got some meat on, on that egg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's leave them a little bit longer. And if we keep... Wait, I want to see this egg. Maybe tonight we oh, will... Look how cute it is. Maybe tonight we will okay. candle these eggs and see. Oh, she's gonna eat now. Tonight we will candle the eggs and see if there's any viable eggs out there. Just because a, a chicken lays on eggs doesn't mean that the rooster I think he's mated with the hen that came that that egg came from. So there could be eggs that aren't viable. Stinks. So this is the one she found today. See oh. look, that black dot. Oh yeah, there was a baby in there for sure. Yeah, that's its head. Yeah. Oh. Don't you know that you're beautiful?